disturbance quickly developed into a SWAT standoff in southwest Lubbock this morning. Police say one man is now in jail after holding a woman at knife point against her will. KCBD News Channel 11's Jaden Santos joined us live from the scene with what investigators know so far. Jaden? Karen and Abner, this is the home near 66 in Chicago where police first thought they were responding to a domestic disturbance around 8.30. It was just about an hour later the officers say 44-year-old Davy Stanford claimed to have a gun and locked himself and a woman inside. Lubbock police say a call for an argument among family turned into a potentially deadly situation in southwest Lubbock Friday morning. Lieutenant Brady Cross with the Lubbock Police Department tells us when officers first arrived around 8.30, they encountered the first sign of trouble in the doorway of the home. And they encountered uh, a man and a woman near the front door, and when trying to make contact with them, uh, the male half slammed the door in our officer's face and, and locked it, and uh, the female half began to yell and scream for help. The SWAT team was called to help about an hour later after officers say Stanford told them he had a gun and locked himself and the woman inside the home. Cross said SWAT negotiators were able to get the woman outside of the home safely around 1015, and she told them Stanford held her at knife point. Stanford was still inside. Our SWAT team did deploy a chemical agent inside the home to try and get the suspect to come out. Uh, at this time, I'm not sure if that's the reason why he did come out, but he did come out peacefully. Thankfully, no one was hurt during the standoff. We report that there's no injuries, no one was harmed, uh, that everyone came out okay. And so that's a testament to our negotiators and our SWAT team as to why these incidents go so well. Stanford was, is now charged and he was taken to Lubbock County Detention Center with aggravated assault and unlawful restraint. Karen and Abner, back to you. Thank you, Jaden.